Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study. Going to be talking about how to make your Thinkorswim platform run smoother. So there's three ways to help make your Thinkorswim platform run a little less sluggish. It does happen every once in a while. There are other tricks out there too, but I feel that these three uh, strategies that I'm going to be sharing with you will help you out the most. So the first being that before you log into the Thinkorswim platform, you have this settings icon right here. You're gonna click that. You're gonna have something on the bottom here that says memory usage. Memory usage is in reference to the memory RAM that you have on your hard drive on your system. You wanna make sure that you set the minimum and the max to an appropriate range. What I mean by appropriate range is you have to know how much memory you have on your system. A thousand megabytes is equivalent to about one gigabyte. So if you have eight gigabytes, you would probably want to set the max to somewhere four megabyte, four thousand megabytes, or four gigabytes, or six thousand megabytes to six gigabytes on the max end. If you set it too high. You are going to be using all the memory on the application and you may not be able to use the application in a smooth, comfortable fashion. So that is, um, that's the first one. All right, now we're in the application and I can show you the second strategy I like to use is when you go over to the help tab up here, you are going to go to system, you click system, and then you get this chart that shows total memory, use memory and free memory. What you can do is clearing the cache here um, that's still the stored memory and it will help refresh the program and make sure that it's running smooth and efficient. So you would hit collect garbage and then that's it, you free up your memory. It's as simple as that. Lastly, the third option, you would go to setup, application settings, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to system under general, and this will also make an impact as well, getting the quote speed. So it comes default on moderate with a max delay of three seconds. If the uh, pricing data and the codes are refreshing every second or continuously with no delay, that is going to end up using more resources on your system. Therefore, you got to have a very strong uh, steady system to be able to keep up with that demand. Um, the slower you set the setting to, the less intensive it's going to be on your system. If you are day trading, maybe you are going to need the fast, no delay. Um, but if you're just trying to pull out charts, look at data, set up long-term investments, those kind of strategies, um, there really isn't any need for having real-time quote data or fast um, max delay three seconds moderate is more than enough in my opinion and that should keep you up and running and smooth so guys um, these are the three tips I like to share with having your thinkorswim run smooth um, if you have any questions please reach out to me if you like the video Throw a like, and if you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe and visit me at thetradestudy.com. And I'll see you in the next one.